All right, y'all. It's like seven in the morning, and I'm I'm coming to this park. You know, just to you know, cause I've been in the house all day. Yesterday, and even though I got a I got a great go, um, you know, go and make some money in a, in a few hours, but I was like, you know what? Let me just get up early. You know, I didn't even I just washed you know I just washed my face, brushed my teeth. I ain't even showered. Because ain't no sense of coming to the park to, um, ain't no sense of showering and, and then coming out here to the ground and this stuff. So I, I might even, I'm going to do a little exercise. I got my jump rope, you know, might even do a little bit of pull-ups or something. But, um, they need the grass cut out here. They need the grass cut bad, um. So we're gonna drive back here and see who the fuck is back here. Hold up. They'll be bringing in the, you know, I'm pretty sure the beast will be showing up soon, but, you know, all, all this grass need to be cut. The grass is woofy. But like I said, as always, nobody's never here. You know? Hold up, matter of fact, you know what? Let me go down here, cause I'm, I know I'm gonna be walking down here. Yeah, so, as you can see, um, hold on. As you can see, as always, I know I shocked these people this time, you know? It's a lovely day. You hear the birds, man? I, I just love that sound. Okay, we got one guy coming out the bushes over there. That guy right there with the blue on. But I'm not going to pay him no mind. You know, as far as I'm concerned, maybe, he, you know, he was already here, you know. But um, I ain't come out here for these, you know, for them dummies. I came out here to get some, some fresh air. So I've been in the house all day yesterday. And, uh, how you doing? All right, how you doing? Doing good. So, came out here to get some fresh air, man. Get some sunlight. Cause remember, what they what they say about the COVID, right? They say, uh, they said the crown. They said Corona means crown, which means sun, right? And then they want you to stay in the house, so they want you to stay away from the sun. <laughs> So it's all, it's all, uh, um, this is a message, man. I'm trying to tell you, it's some type of hidden fucking, you know, conspiracy with the shit that they'll never let you know. You got to do your own homework. You got to do, that my, my headphone. I was looking for my headphone. Just open up my car door. But, um, yeah, you know, just think about that, you know. Corona means crown. Crown means sun or halo or whatever. Um, they even say that it's like this is like a ritual, ancient, like Corona is like some type of ancient deity that you're worshiping. But which, which they ain't a surprise to me. You know what I mean? None, none of that shit surprised me because. Man, dude, we got a dog walk already, man. But fuck him, man. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm just gonna show y'all so y'all can see. So y'all, you, you know, I, you know, I don't never bullshit. See that guy right there with the, the walking with the black, and he got a dog. He got a dog with him. Some brown looking dog, and it don't even look like the dog is on the leash. You know what I mean? But like I said, uh, when it comes to the rituals, you know, it's, it, come on, man. I mean, none of that shit surprised. It shouldn't surprise none of y'all. This whole world is a ritual. But anyway, um Yeah, this this whole shit is a ritual, man. This this whole this whole scenario, this whole world is is everything is is masonic and in, in, in a ritual. You know, everything everything and it's funny too how when I talk to people and they be like uh, you know, witchcraft and I tell people over and over and over, man. I'm like, "You you you're you're worshiping witchcraft every damn day." You know what I mean? 
If you're watching, I'm in my trunk right now. I'm not gonna put my trunk. I'm not. Gonna, but um, I'm looking for uh. Yeah, he got the dog on the leash now. I'm just, I'm just looking behind me. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, if you watching TV, you, you know what I'm saying? If you going to church, you going to the mosque, you know, you're just following the ritual. Everything's a ritual. Like, even just waking up in the morning, brushing your teeth. You know, that's a ritual. You know what I'm saying? The ritual is something that you do every day. Like, you know, something that, um, that, that you know, you it's a repeated process, a repeated program. Um, so, yeah, I'm grabbing my um my jump rope. This nigga out here in the park with a mask on too. Um, but yeah, yeah, r r ritual, ritual is something that you do every day. You know, working out can can be your ritual. He's right there. Just in case y'all wanted to know. See the guy right there? I haven't even been here but over five minutes. And a dog pop up. A dog stalker pops up out of nowhere. But anyway. Um, yeah, man. Anything could be your anything could be a ritual. You know, working out. You know, the the, the, the key is, is you want to make sure that Whatever ritual that you create, you want to make sure that you're doing it for yourself. You know, don't um, don't get caught up in the beast's ritual. That's the key. You know what I mean? That's the key, not to get caught up in the in the beast's rituals, because these motherfuckers is creating rituals for your own demise. You know what I mean? You know. Um, Yeah, these motherfuckers are creating rituals for your own demise. So you don't want to follow their rituals. You don't want to follow their plans. You got to create your own rituals and do what's best for you. And be your own god. Be your own boss. Be your own thinker. Use your own mind. You know? But other than that, man, it's a beautiful day, man. Um, I haven't been out here, man, in, in the sun. I haven't, I haven't been. I'm about to take the shoes off in a minute. I haven't been out here this early in a long fucking time so i know i changed the game up on i changed up the algorithms they they you know they had the computer lab like what what, what the what the, the fuck what the fuck going on he we up he had the park seven in the morning oh hell no they making all they making all phone calls and shit all oh, stalkers on deck wake up wake up i just on my way here i, I ran across two people I, it's somebody over there right now with red on already, you know what I mean? But um, I just ran across some on my way here, some lady, um, just standing outside, man, with a with a with a American flag uh, face mask on. She had an American flag face mask wrapped around her face, her goofy ass face, and she had um a red bright ass fucking coat on. Just standing outside, man. I mean, just cause I, like I said, she must have got the notification and she just jumped up out the bed and. You know, hurry up and got dressed just so just just so when I ride past, I can ride I ride past and I can see her. That's all it, that's that's the only thing that's that's what it's based on. That's it. Just as long, as long as you they just want you to see these people. They want you to see the synchronicity so you could just be like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I mean? That's that's what they want. They want you to trip the fuck out. Like I done seen like 20 people. With red on. You know? So, like I said, don't question your sanity, y'all. Question it. Look, when they, when they was doing it, when I started, when I woke up to this, man, look, I never questioned my sanity. Never. Never, never, never. I never, I never, I already, I already knew, because I was, I was already, you know, doing research anyway and studying and learning about people in life in this world. So I was already hip to the game. That motherfucker's just crazy. So ain't no one in the world. If that's the name of this game, is to have people question 
their sanity. Shit. You got the, what's that, what, what, what's it called, Ray Charles? You got the right one, baby. Or this one, you got the wrong one, baby. Uh-huh. You should have picked somebody else. Because ain't no one where you gonna get me to question my sanity and have me thinking whether I'm crazy or not. Because when this shit started popping off, you know, you know, I, I was already, like, my, my intuition told me about my neighbors anyway. Like, the moment, the moment these people had moved in my, my old apartment, I felt the vibe. I was like, yo, who the fuck is these people? I didn't even know what it was. I didn't, I got my jump rope. I'm gonna do some pull-ups. But um, I didn't even know what it was, man. But I, but my intuition was telling me, yo, watch out for these people. I said, man, I was like, I don't know who these people are, man. But I said, I hope they cool. But my, my spirit was like, nah, nigga, watch out for these motherfuckers. <laughs> Straight up. So, and then I started seeing the weird things that they was doing later on, you know. So, um, so from the from the rip, you know, I quit. I I I knew it was them. It was something something about these people. You know what I mean? It was something particular, something. And then then they showed me later on that they were some weirdos. So, so like I said, this game is to make 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 me question my sanity. Well, it don't work. It didn't work because. Cause you, you ain't gonna make me, you ain't gonna make me say, oh man, I'm going crazy, or oh, I'm tripping, or nothing like that. I know that the world is fucked up, and I know we got a bunch of puppets out here. Look how they got the trash over here, man. Trash all over the ground. I just got my package in the mail. I had ordered, I, mean, I just ordered me some, um, some ashwagandha. Um, that just came in the mail, and I got some, got some, um, some ginseng coming, and some. Ginkgo biloba coming. You know what I mean? You know. For all the brothers out there too. You know, for those that care, for those that give a fuck. I wanna let y'all know that um that ginseng and ginkgo biloba is 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 many, many forms of health benefits and those type of herbs and stuff. But it's one particular, you know, just in case for all the brothers out there. That have any type of problem, you know what I'm saying, in the bed. You know what I mean? You know, get yourself some of that ginseng. And uh, trust and believe, you'll thank me later. You know what I'm saying? So if you got any problem with your lady in the bed, man, you know, go ahead, man, get yourself some of that ginseng. You know what I mean? And um, when things work out real good for you, don't forget your boy DB told you, man, and um, hook a brother up on the cash app. You know what I'm saying? With a little donation, man. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, I'm going to cut this video off, man. I'm going to go ahead and stretch. Got the sun out there shining, and the gang stalkers are still grinding. But that's just the way it is. They're going to do what they got to do. Um, so we got to do what we got to do. Um, I, haven't made no, I haven't made a video, and, and I took a, took, you know, took a couple days off from making some videos. I got... I was in the process of making one yesterday, and then I ended up falling asleep. So I never, I never finished it, and I never posted it. So just stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna have videos coming up, popping up all this week, um, and hopefully it don't uh, be all about these stupid ass gang stalkers. Hopefully these motherfuckers will leave me alone. But unfortunately, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be posting up some more videos about working out too. You know what I mean? So. You know, we're going to be, you know, since we ain't got no gym, it's gonna, it's getting warm. I can't believe it's May already, man. Next month, next month is June. So we can be blazing hot soon. So when it get real, when it get real hot, I'm definitely going to be out here in the morning working out. Because I don't like working out in the cold. I, I, I used to do that shit years ago. I stopped that shit. I don't like that shit, man. So, you know what I mean? I like working out, man, the heat. You know, I got to go get some Parox. I got to. Pour some. I gotta clean my ear out. I, I could feel that remote neuron monitoring bullshit in my left ear. So I gotta. I use peroxide, man. It, it, it helps me, man. You know. For those that have a problem with the ear, ear problems and stuff, you know, with the remote neuron monitoring, get some um, benzoyl peroxide and just pour it in your ear. Let it bubble up. All right. I'm gonna cut the video off, man. Seven in the morning. It's like seven something in the morning. You hear the birds, man? The birds saying, "What's up?" Other birds just say, fuck the stalkers. I, I don't blame you, dog. I, bird, you know what I'm saying? I don't blame you, bird. Fuck them all.
、まあ。Yeah. I mean, I've been running around, man. I tell you, it's no joke. The stalk is popping up and shit. But I ain't been paying no mind. I was, I was yelling. I was yelling at one stalker just to fuck with him while I was doing um, jump rope. I got the dogs out and everything. While I was doing jump rope and shit, I was like, I was like, y'all can't stop me. <laughs> just fucking with him and shit. I said, you can't stop me from working out. Come back here and watch me. His dog wanted to come near me, man. It's the same dude I see every day with the white dog. Uh, let me get close up on y'all. Let me. That's the white bitch with her with her dog. And then we got this black lady. Right there. The, the fucked up thing is, like I said before, the crazy thing is um that they can't come to the park on their own. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice day out here. And as you can see, you see the trash. Now, I want to get on real quick about these face masks. See the face masks and the rest is all trash and, you know, chips and dips and stuff. But they, people don't understand, like, like, you know, the beast is trying to make this, you know, tr you know, um, make, making it mandatory. Not trying, but it is making it mandatory, especially to go to the supermarkets and stuff. But um, you got to understand, you got to understand the beast don't give a damn about polluting the world or, you know, or, you know, making like that's what the beast is here for. The, the beast is trashing mother nature. The beast is basically destroying the planet and it's been doing that since they've been here. Now, I don't know why the dog getting closer to my car over there. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, the beast, the beast, I mean, just just everything. We could think of the, just digging in the earth, stealing the resources, stealing the oil so we can drive around in our cars. Um, when they know damn well you can make cars run off of electricity or hydrogen. But you gotta understand, the beast came to kill and to destroy, kill, kill, still and to destroy. So even when it comes down to, um, that's why recycling is very important. But even when it comes down to like plastic, when you go to stores and you get plastic bags from supermarkets and stuff like that, I didn't seen a documentary years ago that um, that you know the plastic ends up in the water, ends up in the ocean, and they was they was cap they was catching. They was going, people, people was going fishing, catching fishes, and when they would take the fish back and they would dissect the fish, and when they dissect the fish, um, actually, actually said, why the bitch just hanging around? Why she hanging around? You know what I mean? So it was obvious to know that, you know, she's a stalker. You know what I mean? But, um, fuck that bitch. But anyway, they was dissecting the fish, and when they was dissecting the fish, guess what was inside the fish? Plastic. So so all you people out here be thinking that y'all on a healthy diet. Oh, I, I eat nothing but fish. Or, 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 you know, I cut back on the meat. I eat fish now. Man, you eating plastic. That's what you eating. Because you got to understand the water is jacked up. Not only, if you eat, not only are you eating plastic, but you're consuming a whole bunch of chemicals and mercury and petroleum, you know, from, from the petrodollar. Because remember, the, the, the dollar is only backed up by what? Oil. The petrodollar. And now, I, I seen on the news a couple weeks ago that guess what they're doing with the oil? They paying people to come and gather the barrels of oil. They paying people. The oil is plummeting, y'all. So what did that tell you? That we are on the a, on a, on a edge of a global economic collapse because we already know that gold and silver is not backing the dollar up the only thing that's backing the dollar up is what the oil because it's the petrol dollar 
So once that once the right now to the point where if they if they're if they're paying people to to come and pick up the oil, that means it's, been, it's just a matter of time. I guess the gas price is really gonna drop. You probably gonna go to the damn gas station and get a gallon of gas for a dollar, maybe even less. And then when it gets real, when it gets that low, then you already know what time it is. You already know what time it is. You, you probably best off just going to the store and just spending every last dollar you got in your pocket. You know what I mean? Just buy a whole bunch of food. I ain't talking about no TVs. I ain't talking about no microwaves and no, you know, you know, a laptop is cool because I need, I can use a laptop. But I'm talking about, you know, TVs and, you know, just stupid ass electronics that you don't need. You know, a laptop is a necessity, especially if you got an online business and stuff like that. I got these stalkers working. Man, you know how steep that hill is? That's why they walking them bikes. Ain't no way in the world that lazy, that lazy out of shape ass can ride that bike up that hill. That hill was no fucking joke. But um, especially if you out of shape. You out of shape, man, walking up that, running up that hill, especially riding a bike up that hill, you be calling on God. Even if, you, that's even if you got some breath in your lungs. But anyway, what, what was my point? My point is, man, that the dollar is collapsing. My point is that the beast is destroying the planet. They don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? They got you out here um, wearing these face masks as if they give a fuck about you. Since when do the beast give a damn about you? You know what I'm saying? They don't give a damn about you. So, so all of a sudden now, you see they looking over here? All of a sudden now, they act like they so concerned with your health. And they want you to, to wear a face mask to prevent you from getting the COVID. You know, and, and but at the same time, just ask you a question. I mean, I mean just, just ask yourself, just ask yourself a question. If they really, really care about the COVID, about you getting sick, then why the hell are they still spraying chemtrails in the sky? They're not telling you about the chemtrails, but on the damn news, they telling you to um to watch out from the COVID-19 because you might get sick, there's a respiratory infection and all this bullshit, but they still spraying in the sky. So, I mean, you got to be able to read between the lines, people. You know what I'm saying? The, the devil ain't nothing but a deceiver. A deceiver. And, and like I said, most of y'all don't, most of y'all don't know who the devil is. Like my mom, she don't, she talk about the devil, she don't know who the devil is. She talk about the devil, and then she'll turn around and go vote at the polls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Like, you voting for the devils. You know what I mean? So, so you gotta understand, the beast never gave a damn about your health. If they gave, if they were so concerned about you living, why the hell they still got McDonald's on every on every fucking corner? Why they still got Burger King? You know what I'm saying? Why they still got fucking KF fucking C? I call it, I call it Murder King. I call it Fat Donald's, Murder King. Um, you know, uh, what was the other one I heard? KF, KFC. Call it KF Death. KF, KF D. KF death. You know what I mean? You know, they, they they selling you fake ass. Everything is fake. The chicken and all this stuff is all cloned ass meat. So, you got to understand, people. And these dumb ass people out here, man, putting the face mask on and everything, walking around. They at the park. These, I'm surprised they ain't having on. Them, them people, that, the couple that just walked past. But I've never seen like six people walk past me out at the park with the coat, with the uh, with the face mask on. And then the same, but this is where it ends up at. You know, when you're walking around with all these face masks, this is where it's going to end up. Right here on the damn ground. You know what I mean? Being more trash for the for the for the motherfucking planet. Look look at the trash. Trash the trash can filled up. Trash is all on the ground. And this is a park. You know what I mean? Grass need to be cut. You know what I mean? So my point is, like I said, man, they've been feeding us poison foods, GMO foods, chemtrails in the sky. They've been giving us vaccines since the day we got here. I don't know if y'all, I don't know how old y'all are, but I'm from the era of chicken pox. They tried to assassinate my ass with the chicken pox back in the day. I was like nine years old. You know what I'm saying? They, we, you know, when we talk about the, uh, the, uh, the Tuskegee experiment, shit. The, the chicken pox was like a Tuskegee experiment. For, for, the, for those that's in that era, that shit was wicked. How the hell you gonna get somebody nine, ten years old some fucking itchy ass bumps all over their bodies? That shit was crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the beast been experimenting on us since since we got here. You know what I mean? So so get out your head about the beast is concerned about your well-being. They don't give a fuck about your well-being. They will kill your ass if you go to that hospital. I'm trying to tell you. And rest in peace to the uh to Fred, what's the Fred the Godson? I just found out that this nigga was dead. I just found that shit out yesterday. You know what I mean? 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and he was already, you know, chubby. You know, on, on the fast side, he was, like, he was short and chubby. Like, he about five, five. I don't know how tall he was, but he had nice lyrical skills. But but they they, they told this nigga he had COVID and that he did. So so you got to understand, man, you know, you know, like, first of all, you know, if he was having health compli um, problems and complications, you could just look at his, you could just look at his situation anyway. He looked like he was already unhealthy anyway. So it wasn't no damn COVID, nigga. It was fucking McDonald's. It was Burger King, Chick-fil-A or some shit. You know what I mean? He been, like, he been eating too much pork chops. And I'm not saying that, you know, to, to uh, you know, tease the brother or nothing like that. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm saying the shit that motherfuckers is afraid to say. That's all. You know what I mean? And whether it come out funny or not, I, I can't help that. I'm just telling you the truth. You know what I mean? You know, like I said, I you know I don't know the dude personally, but I did I did like his rap game. You know what I mean? But it's crazy that, you know, I, I just found out this nigga gone. And, um... And they blame it on the COVID. So, so you know, everybody is dying. It's, it's COVID. Nobody, niggas getting shot. COVID. You know what I mean? You know, somebody, car crash, COVID. Airplane crash, COVID. Everything's COVID now. So, so they don't, so you gotta, you gotta understand that this is just a, this is an agenda. This ain't got nothing to do with your health. This ain't got nothing to do with your well being. You know, this ain't got nothing to do with them motherfuckers caring about you or none of that. This, whatever agenda they, this is, this is this is a, an agenda for their own good and for your own demise. So, so for all y'all sleep people out there that's watching my videos, I hope, man, that my word can resonate upon your ears. He that hath the ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. You know what I mean? Y'all waiting for the resurrection? That's the resurrection right there. The Lord thy God is the sun and shield. The Lord thy God is the sun and shield. And even in Psalms, it says sun. It's spelled it S-U-N. That's right. S-U-N, not S-O-N, S-U-N. Go look it up. You know what I'm saying? Go look it up. The Son of God, I shall see him coming in the clouds. You know what I'm saying? With thorns and thistles. Tree branches. So, yeah. So all y'all resurrection people, your son, is, your, your son of God is right there. So come on outside, activate your pineal gland, and maybe you'll be able to see and recognize the son of God. The kingdom of God is within. So I'm going to go back and do a couple more sets. Um, open up these lungs. You know, clearing out, you know, some of the, you know, cannabis smoke. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, I've been, um, too, also, too, I've, uh, just to, this really nothing, none of your business, but I've been, um, I've been fucking with this, the store kind now. You know what I'm saying? You know. Shout out to my homie, you know what I'm saying? For for hooking a brother up. You know what I mean? From the West Coast. West side motherfucker in this right now. West side in this motherfucker. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? But y'all be good, man. And um, just keep in mind that the beast don't give a damn about your monkey motherfucking ass. All right? They don't give a damn about you. They never did. They never will. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just now coming, you know, we got this vegan thing popping off. You know what I mean? You know, shit. If if, if the beast gave, if the beast cared about your 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 well being and your health, shit, veganism should have would have been here. You know what I mean? We would have never been killing animals to eat. You know? So, you know, don't stay in the house all day. I said I'm, I'm watching. I'm on Facebook. People tell me I don't know what to do. I'm tired. I'm tired of being in the house. I'm like. Nobody told, well, I'm not going to say nobody told you to be in the house because obviously somebody told them to be in the house, but nobody told you to listen. <laughs> That's what I want to say. <laughs> yeah, they told you to be in the house, but you ain't got to listen to these motherfuckers. Look, if, they, if the beast tell you to go ahead and jump off the bridge, you're going to do it? So why are you listening to these people? You know what I mean? I woke up this morning, man, got myself together, took a smash, or should I say a left a smash, and, um, you know, Wash my face, brush my teeth, and um, you know, ran about. I didn't even watch the news and none of that shit. You know what I mean? Cause you don't, you don't wanna, you don't wanna start your day off with bad news. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, even though I record gang stalking videos, but I do my best to um, to you know, leave something positive and, and give you some type of solution. You know, and shout out to uh, 
uh, was Wisdom Cafe. You know, she had said that on one of her comments. She was like, the reason why I come back to your channel because you do offer a solution, you know. Because I'm not here to create fear. We got enough of that. We don't, you know what I'm saying? That's the last thing we need. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the last thing I'm going to be bringing y'all is some fear. You know what I mean? There is there is hope. Hope is within you. You know what I mean? Um, there's no hope for the system. The system got to collapse. The system has to collapse, y'all. In order, in order, like, people, you hear a lot of people say, we got some more people coming. You hear a lot of people say, um, a lot of people say, man, they want a change, a change going to come. They, people want a change to come, right? But what is change? Change had to be something completely different. So right now, guess what? We are headed for something completely different. Walking around wearing masks all the time, like China did. Remember, remember China was walking around buying cans of air? It's a look it up. You don't believe me? They were selling cans of air. They probably still selling it. So, so what I'm saying is, what is what is different? What is the change? A change is, it's gonna be a change that you never really expected to see. Because remember, if you haven't been doing your homework for all these years, you're left behind. You 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 want you want a motherfucker. You want to um. You on a lost boat. Might, it might even be too late for you. You know what I mean? It might even be too late for you. So, so we are we're we're on the edge. We're on the we're on the um on on the urge of um of a of an economic, worldly global collapse. They're getting ready to eradicate the dollar. Um, currency is getting ready to be digital. They're getting ready to have more restrictions. You know what I'm saying on on this planet. They're probably going to start giving out curfews. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, trust me. Things will never be the same. Just like uh, uh, um, Drake's album when he came out um, some, years, some years back. The name of the album was Things Will Never Be the Same. And that's where we at. You know what I'm saying? Things will never be the same. I just been drinking on the low. Mobbing on the low. Fucking on the low. Smoking on the low. I just been... That's my shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's where we at. We 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 at we on the urge right now that things will never be the same. So for all y'all people thinking that you know every, the, the mall's just gonna open back up and we gonna go back out shopping and being a dumbass consumer and giving all our hard resources to the to the beast so they can shut the world down again, then you's a fool. And and guess what? You deserve whatever comes your fucking way. Can I get a hello there? You know what I'm saying? You deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Because we in the information age, and we you got, I tell people all the time, you got a smartphone, but you dumb as hell. I wish when I was in school, man, could you imagine in the, in the, in the late 80s and the 90s, could you imagine if the internet was here, and we had access to the internet, and you got to understand, too, the internet been here, they just didn't give it to us. Because whatever they give to us is already, you know, already old and we already late. You know what I mean? So, man, I, man, I, I'm trying to about a damn. I would have been a damn scientist already. I would have been a scientist at the age of twelve. You know what I mean? When I was growing up, I liked the science too. You know what I'm saying? But I just got sidetracked. But um, but yeah, we we on we got a, we got a smartphone and people are dumb as hell. Don't know shit. You can learn whatever you want now. So you know, and all it takes is time. That's it. If you got the time to study algebra, chemistry, biology, astrology, history, ancient Kemet. Uh, the the uh, the, uh, the Council of Nicaea, go go back into the origins of Christianity. I guarantee, I guarantee you, if you go back into the origins of Christianity, learn about Constantine, learn 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 how back in the day they was killing people if they didn't believe in the cross. That's right, they was cutting your heads off, and that's when they came up with the new concept of um of this hell theory to say, okay, we're going to see people and and have them thinking that when they die they going to hell. So that was their new conversion to, 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 to manipulate the mind control. So you talk to a Christian today, you ask them why do they believe in that shit, first thing they say is they don't want to go to hell. Oh, okay, so it's a fear thing. So it's not like you really, really believe for real. You just hold on to the Jesus thing, to the Christianity thing for like an insurance policy. Oh, oh, I'm stepping on toes now. Oh man, I'm, oh, you blasphemy, you blasphemer. You always bashing the church. Ah, shut the fuck up. I'm going to tell the truth. If you don't like it, go watch T.D. Jakes. 
Stay in the motherfucking Matrix. I don't give a damn. Go watch Cruffalo the pimp ass dollar. Let him pimp your ass out your dollars. While I sit back and pop my collar. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's why I said it. DB said it. You won't get the truth on this channel. The, 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 the shame, put what he said, tell the truth, shame the devil. That's right. I, I heard what the boy Daylo said yesterday. He said, he said, when he said, the beast don't like when true light coming to this planet. He said, when true light coming to this planet, the beast run and hide in the shade because, because they don't want to be exposed. They said, hide me, hide me. This light going to expose me. That's right. I'm the true light. I came to shine and expose the darkness. And I, don't get me wrong now. I'm not saying that, you know, I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to try to get caught up in thinking that the darkness is evil. You know, I'm, that, that's the darkness is not evil. You know, when, when, when Jesus did say that men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, he probably meant um, ignorance. Because remember, they got another dog walker right here. Because remember, remember, the, the scripture says, um, my people shall perish from a lack of knowledge. You see what I'm saying? So people are dying based off of what? Ignorance. That's what they're dying for. Ignorance. Not, not because it's dark outside, but because it's dark in your bedroom at night. You know what I mean? They're dying based off of ignorance because you don't know. You don't know who your enemy is. How the hell can you defeat your enemy if you don't know who he is? How the hell can you do? How the hell can you play chess? How the hell can you beat somebody in chess if you don't know how to play the game? <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we, we're not talking about rocket science here. We're talking about just basic common sense. You know what I'm saying? How the hell can you build a muscle if you don't, if you don't have the proper form and the proper, the proper way to lift weights and the proper way to exercise and the proper way to uh, the proper nutrition plan? You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to have a, it's a formula. It's a pattern. It's a game plan you got to have. And if you don't have that, then you're not going to be able to accomplish anything. You can't play. You can't. You think they're going to put you on a football field and have you playing for the Eagles if, if you haven't been trained? You know what I mean? That's why what I said, my, 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 my John, my, my, my bars, I said, um, I said, pressure and pain, pressure and pain. No preseason training, but we stuck in this game. Niggas raw. So my point is, what I meant by that was, I said, pressure and pain, pressure and pain. No preseason training, but we stuck in this game. When we came into this this planet, we came here into this game because this is a game. We came here to end this game with no type of preseason training. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like they just, you know, we were just born here and they just put us on the damn game. And it's like they just took us and put us on the damn field, on a football field, and say, hey, just 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 hand us the ball and we just standing there, get ready to get demolished and killed. So you gotta hurt you gotta hurt and learn quick before you get your ass killed. And if you lost right now. If you don't, if you one of those ones that's lost right now, man, you better be, you better turn your damn TV off and be studying like a mug. You better be studying hard because you got catch up to do. I still feel as though I got a lot of catch up to do. So I, and so, and I, I and I've been woke for a while now. So, you know, cause I could, so I feel sorry for the ones that haven't been woke. You know what I'm saying? You better use this quarantine time to, to get your game, your knowledge game on. Study to show thyself approved. Why you keep quoting scriptures, D? I thought you don't believe in that. Remember, I never said it wasn't truth in the book. I never said that. I just said that it was manipulated. It was designed to deceive your mind. You got to know how to read it. That's what I'm talking about. You got to know how to read the book. I was a born again Christian, born and raised in the church, Pentecostal. I used to see people pass out on the floors. I, in fact, I even tried to do it. I even tried to pass out on the floor. I tried to catch the Holy Ghost and all that shit. I tried to catch it. Couldn't catch it. You know what I mean? Kept dropping the ball. But anyway... That's what I'm trying to tell y'all people. You got to, you got to uh, expand your, your information, expand your knowledge. Despite of all the stalking that's going on, despite all the craziness that's going on, you know, even though, you know, I still record it and everything, but, but for the most part, main, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. The main reason why I record, because I like to drop the Jews, really. You know, this gives me an opportunity to drop Jews, you know what I'm saying, for, for those, like I said, for he that have an ear to hear, you know what I mean? So I do that. I do. I, I, I expose gang stalking, though. I expose them. I expose the dummies. I, I you know, I got to do that. But at the same time, it goes. It's three ways. One, to expose the stalkers. Two, to drop the Jews. Three, for uh, therapy. This is my mental.
therapy right here, you know what I'm saying? Because as you can see, I'm so, I'm out here by myself. The only people that come around me are stalkers. I don't have no friends, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I got a big family, but they all sheeps. I can't fuck with the sheeps. I can't fuck with them. You know what I mean? I gotta stay, I'd rather stay dolo. I'd rather be just like this instead of hanging with some goddamn sheeps. Straight up. You know what I mean? Straight up. I'd rather be like this. I'm not, I'm not hanging with no sheeps. I ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? You got to water shit down as soon as they come around. Nah, I ain't watering shit down. You know what I mean? If you ain't on my level, if you ain't on my, my page, you ain't on the same page, I'm on page 99 and you on page 1, or you ain't even opened up the damn book yet. Nah, get the fuck out of here. I ain't got time for you. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's like, you know, like, come on, man. It's like, it's like, a, uh, it's like somebody on a sixth grade level in college. <laughs> You know what I mean? The, the, the professor gonna be looking at you like, what the fuck is you doing in my class? Get out! You know what I mean? You you on the sixth grade level and you and you and you in, my, in, 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 in chemistry class or some shit. You know what I mean? You know. So, so you gotta get out. You left behind. I, I don't have time to sit back and try to tutor you one on one. You know what I mean? You got a lot of you got a lot of information. You know? The shit I be saying to you, right? The shit I'm saying right now. If you really really lost, I, I'm speaking another language. You don't have no clue what the hell I'm talking about. You got the dumb look on your face. Like, what is he talking about? So, man, I tell you, I could, I could talk. I'm looking at the time. It's 26 minutes already. But it feel good out here, man. And, um, you know, I needed to make a video anyway. I'm going to see if I can post this up ASAP. You know what I mean? Get this up real quick. And, uh, hold on. So, yeah, man. So, we could get about here. So I go home and shower and everything, get ready. Give me um something light to eat, eat some oatmeal, take um take some supplements, get the body fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of grounding on, and I'm out. But um for the most part, y'all continue to research, open up your mind, and most of all, don't ever ever think you know it all. Cause once you get to that point where you think you know it all, you deceive yourself, and you will never you will never take the time to listen. Because you think you know it all. That's why I can't even get through to my mom and my brothers and sisters. Because in their mind, they think they know it all. You know what I'm saying? The first day I say something, they say, I already know, D. I already know. But they don't know. Because if you knew better, you would do better. Can I get a fucking hello there? You know what I mean? So, with that being said, y'all, I'm out. Y'all keep your heads up, man. Keep your heads up, legs closed, eyes open. Either wear rubber or you die smoking. That's Tupac right there for y'all for y'all that don't know. Alright, I gotta record this bitch. I gotta record her. We got we got some we got some street theater popping off, so um Ah shit. This chick right here I'm I'm delivering to right now. She always seemed to have this attitude. You know, what she gotta do, what she gotta do. Check Chris out, Chris up here. This city is all stage, y'all. What's up, what's up? What's going on, man? What's how y'all feeling, man? Chris in the house. Call in the house. Give me three dollars. Three dollars? Okay. Let her take the three dollars. I gotta punch in. All right. Hey, hey, man. Hey, stay up right back. There you go. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hey, y'all see that? Now, how the hell, how the hell Chris, how the hell Chris get over it? I just seen Chris at the damn corner store before I got, before I got over here. So I told you, like I said, it's all orchestrated. It's all orchestrated, man. Then they had Agent Paul over there. The dude I told you about, his dad worked for the feds. 
Cause that's where he work at. He work, he work over there. You know what I'm saying? The boy Agent Paul. You know what I mean? But Chris don't work there. So what the hell Chris doing over there? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was all stage, man. So he must have either got a ride over there because he damn sure didn't walk over there because I just saw him. He was just at the shop. Boy, Chris, punk ass was just at the shop. Got some eye candy for y'all. But, uh, shit, what, they got their cap and gown? Who the fuck graduated? Nobody graduated. Check my man out with his book bag, yo. Check my man out. He think he going to school. <laughs> hey, yo, the school's closed, man. Why you got a book bag, man? <laughs> Ain't no school. Huh? Okay. Gotta stay protected. What, he got a gun in the bag? <laughs> I gotta stay protected. Niggas is clowns, yo. All day, man. All day. And then I don't even know if y'all, I don't even know if I caught it, but he was scratching his head the moment I pulled up. I gotta stay protected. Motherfuckers, if, if you strap, motherfuckers, they keep their gun in their drawers. Keep it on their hip. But yeah, man. You know, I told y'all, man, all this shit is all orchestrated, man. As always. You know what I mean? They plan, they plan, they plan the order. And then they have all these stage-ass agents just sitting there just in the damn way. They just be in the damn way.